Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Zeus. I am Arzakius. I'm trying to remember what exactly we're doing here. I do think... Okay, it looks like we're building our fourth... Which actually looks almost done. Just need four slabs of marble. And look at all this marble we have, so... I need to also stop importing freaking bronze. Uh, because I'm clearly still doing that. Actually, maybe not stopping is the correct thing. Let's just import one. That way we're still importing... Where are we on workers needed? Okay. But I do think we, we can go ahead and stop building sculptures. That's an armory. There's the sculpture studio. So I'm going to tear that down to get a few more of my workers back. Because the armory is still needed to, to supply these guys with their arms. So we'll continue that. But let's get some... Some marble exporting out of here. If we can. Hmm... Doesn't look like anybody wants my marble. Let's see. Let's go to the world, see if we can find a, a good marble buyer. Who am I, anyway? I think I'm Argos again. <laughs> so, Trozian looks like they would buy marble, fleece, and wine. That's a pretty good one, actually. What are you selling? Exports, olive oil, and armor. Um, can anybody else sell olive oil? Wine. Everybody wants wine. Wine. Well, I do think I'm going to build... Uh, oh. Because that was Citrosian. Why can't I... Allies didn't pay tribute, request goods, money from the city, fulfill the city's request, they have none. Give a gift to the city, maybe that. Let's give a gift of marble. Let's try eight slabs. Why the hell not? We have marble. Maybe I am Maybe I already have um, something for them. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Yeah, we already have them selling. So let's increase my sales to the full 12. That'll get rid of some more. And let's also include a little bit more fleece to them. I didn't realize that I was already selling. But with this thing done... Zeus will protect... If Zeus hears your prayer, he will reward you by striking Zeus. Alright, so... That's another task done, four complete. We just need about 2,000 more population. We can support five horsemen right now, but we need 16. 32 jugs of olive oil. Our best is not nearly that. Let us... So we need, first and foremost, we need to improve our olive oil production. Um... Just kind of looking around here. What we're going to do first is improve wine production because I, I do think we're being outproduced here. So, workshops, winery, and we're going to put that right there. Oh crap, that's right, we need more workers. That's going to be a problem. Oh, we can now tear down the Artisan's Guild. Tear that down. And then we're going to replace that... Well, we need more workers, so we're just going to let that be at this point. Can we get rid of any of these shipping yards? Because that would be... They're getting bronze and they're getting wheat. Let's lower the wheat. I guess we can't get rid of any. Um, let's see. We need more... More elite housing here. Really? Really? 
No appeal, huh? Alright, do we have any sort of monuments? Happiness or population? Let's put population right here. Oops. Put that right there. And why not? Let's actually go through and build an avenue all the way up. This house has everything they need. Okay, so they can't go up. Elite housing there. Elite housing there. All right, let's get those guys moving. Let's see how these are doing. Zero horses. We need to improve horse production, too. Jeez. Jeez, guys. Um... Horse production. Because that's going to be a stumbling block. Maintenance office. I thought that was over... Oh, I didn't have military selected. That could be why. Horse production. Yes, we do need more workers. 86! Good lord! Why, why are we so few on workers? Um, let's build a couple more... Worker shops, or houses right there. See if we can increase our population just a little bit so that we can we can do some good. We Actually, Pyre Guy, we probably could use some sort of Pyre over here need horses to evolve. We might actually need a secondary horsing area. Has anyone seen my spear? How can I be a spear carrier without my spear? I don't know. How can you? You know, I did this wrong. I just realized. I, yeah. We're gonna actually tear this down. Sorry, people. We did this totally wrong. We need elite housing to go side by side with the already existing elite housing. This way, we're creating less roads for all my merchants and whatnot to travel down. And then we're going to do the avenue alongside it. I totally, th I totally didn't even think about that. And then... Actually, let's turn this a little bit. Actually, let's tear this down entirely. Yeah, yeah, like that. And we're gonna connect this road right here. We have a road right here. And then we can turn this actually into a full-on boulevard, which is awesome. Right? And then we can tear down this and let people go this way more. There, that'll work a lot better. Because then what I can do is I can create elite housing over here too. Like this. Now we just need more horses. Horses seem to be a big problem now. Hopefully the second horse development will alleviate that issue. We need more hussies! Oh! Crap, what was that? It is truly a Fisheries. pleasure to live in this city. I was actually just looking at that going, man, that doesn't look good how I have that set up right there. And and sure enough, uh, the fishery crumbles. And now we need to get a maintenance office over here. So that that doesn't happen anymore. Let's see water. Let's make sure everybody is highly watered. Hygiene. Oopsies. I forget in games like what 
what all of the 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 what the wheel does in all the games. So this area has like no hygiene at all. That might be something that we want to fix, but we really don't have a ton of workers to do so at this point. Hygiene over here, I think is doing all right. Let's get back to that. Doing all right for hygiene this way. Hazards? Anybody hazardous? No. And I don't think the shrines and monuments ever become hazardous. Actually, there we go. Good. I was like, they're not going that way. That's not good. Um, alright. Shouldn't have any unrest. I can't imagine why people would be unrested. Taxes. Is everybody being taxed? This area is a bit light. I'm not too worried about it, though. I have money to spare, and I have money over here coming in. This is probably generating more taxes than all of the other side combined. Philosophy... Eh, it could be a little better back here, guys. could be a little better back here. Let's go ahead and set up another Philosopher podium right there. And athletes doing okay. Actors doing okay. Competitors doing great. And so the only thing really was Philosophers, which hopefully the second podium will help. Alright, and I think that'll be that. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm saying that a lot all of a sudden. I'm not sure why. Sorry, guys. Alright, so now the big thing is is that we need employees. Hmm. Let's go ahead and build some more houses over here. Make a little bit bigger of a row. And let's kind of investigate over here where we can throw more housing units. The problem is, is I, I do see some areas where I think I can get away with more houses, but I don't really want to build... Like, over here, it looks like there's a natural fit, but I don't want to build... Um, I think I can actually get rid of this maintenance office right there. Cause I I really don't think the shrine can go bad. I don't think that'll die. And there's nothing else over here. Is there? Let's turn. It's really unsettling to turn the camera like that. I. <laughs> I know I'm doing it, but I still turn and I'm like, what the hell is over here? Where am I? What am I looking at? Um, I actually want... Yeah, see, I could make another little square right here. I kind of want to. See if I can't get anything there. Right there. And then some common houses. There we go. See if that brings in a few more people too. Because I do think that out of everywhere, this side probably needs more workers since this is where most of my industry is residing. Look at this. These guys have nowhere to put anything. Oh, what we can do! We can get rid of all of these masons. I don't need them anymore. I'm going to keep one so that I keep some sort of production. But actually, I'm just going to get rid of all of them for now. I'm going to get rid of all of them for now. And then I'm going to replace it with growers lodges. Masonry shop. Because I need olive trees, right? Olives are the name of the game at this point. Let's see if I can also build some more olive trees anywhere in here. So we're just going to stock up on some olive trees back here. Building an extra grower's lodge should help. There we go. That was brilliant. I didn't even think about that. Like, I'm, I'm overflowing with the, with the blocks of, of marble... 
<laughs> it didn't even occur to me that, hey, I could just stop uh, making marble. Stupid. All right, I think that's good. So, well, I don't think I have anybody who wants a uh, sculpture. So I, I guess I just have an extra one. Oh, well. Um, yeah. And now all of a sudden I have good employment. Nice. All right, let's see up here. What do you guys need? They need armor. Too distant on the armor, which means that I need more storage over here. Storehouse. I knew that was a problem, too. We're just gonna empty everything and then go from there. I wish there was a button that, that made it so that you could empty everything, actually. Um, what do they need? They need olive oil over here, so we're gonna get olive oil, and we're only gonna get, like, eight. And then, uh, we need armor, so we're gonna get armor. And again, just eight. So this one will get armor and that. This, this other one, this one can get fleece. And we're gonna stop getting armor there and keep it at just fleece and wine and we'll let it hold bronze too that'll work really well I think oh, someone had an aneurysm right there okay and I think we're, our fish levels look really good people are standing around with fish maybe I don't need all of these uh, fisheries right here we're gonna drop this one uh, that'll keep our employment levels good. How many people do we got? 2,600. Man, this is gonna be, this is gonna be rough, guys. This is gonna be very rough. But hopefully this will solve some of the issues we had. Eight. Let's actually put this up to 12 of each. And see where we're at. Actually, let's just go for 16, because realistically, there we go. Realistically, this one's doing 16 fleece and 16 wine. We can do 16 olive oil and 16 armor. There, that'll help that. And once he gets that distributed, then these should grow. And I kind of feel like expanding... The, the elite right here. See if I can't put a, an elite right there. Just to make this land a little more worthwhile. And he should get all the culture and whatnot that he needs, so... Does he have everything? Yep, he has everything. And he still needs armor. awesome to see this working. Where are we at? Ah, we got the horsemen supplied. Nice. And now we just need people. Lots and lots and lots of people. I'm going to put right here another normal house. Okay. So what I think we can do... People already eat too much. Okay. Thank you. Well, if we need more food, first of all, we don't right now. But if we ever do, if these three granaries start flailing, we can add another fishery right here, easy enough. Um, okay, I think this is going to be it for this episode. For the next episode, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start filling in this section right here with more normal housing units. Um... Yeah, I think that's going to be the best idea is to fill this in with normal housing and probably put another bazaar or whatever they're called in this game right there too to help supply it. Uh, but that'll be it for this episode. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please come back again next time and we will 
move onwards. We're almost done. We're almost done with this one. Look at this. Just just need population. That's all we need at this point. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.